Hello everyone. Today I have come with the top antibiotics in respiratory tract infection. Respiratory tract infections are one of the most common cause for use of antibiotics. Not every cough needs a cure and not every respiratory tract infection needs an antibiotic. Today let's break down the right antibiotic choices for respiratory infection from nose to the lungs. I am Dr. Neelam, an emergency physician on this channel. I simplify EM concepts to help you learn and stay prepared. So let's dive back into the topic. Broadly, respiratory tract infections are classified into upper respiratory tract infection and lower respiratory tract infections. The conditions that come under the upper respiratory tract infection are rhinosinusitis, otitis media, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, epiglottitis and laryngitis. And the conditions that come under the lower respiratory tract infection are bronchitis, tracheitis, pneumonia, acute exacerbation of COPD. So based on this condition, let's see the common antibiotics and recommendations for these infections. So first starting with acute rhinosinusitis, in mild cases, antibiotic is not required. You can wait and watch and treat according to the symptoms. In severe or complicated cases, amoxicillin is the first line. Third generation cephalosporins may be the alternatives, especially in penicillin allergic patients and non-compliant cases. In this case, short course is effective for five days. Next coming to otitis media, Antibiotic therapy must be considered in children where amoxicillin again is the first line of choice. Considered for 7 days which has lower failure rates. Antibiotic is not required in case with otitis media with effusion. Next coming to pharyngitis and tonsillitis. Most of them have viral infection in those with bacterial suspicion. According to Infectious Disease Society of America, testing is required to confirm group A beta hemolytic streptococcus before initiating antibiotic. To reduce overuse, in case if testing can't be performed, modified center criteria can be used, which contains these parameters. If the score is 1 or less, no further testing or treatment is required. And if the score is 2 or more, streptococcal rapid antigen detection testing is required and further treatment based on this detection can be done. The recommended first line treatment is a 10 day course of penicillin, amoxicillin, azithromycin and cephalosporins are the alternatives. Next, talking about laryngitis, antibiotic need not be routinely prescribed in laryngitis because most of the cases are viral. Next, coming to epiglottitis, IV third generation cephalosporins and an agent active against MRSA that is vancomycin may be needed in severe cases. Next, talking about bronchitis and tracheitis, in most cases it is viral and therefore antibiotics are not routinely required. Few cases are caused by bordetella pertussis or atypical bacteria like chlamydia pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia. In that case, if the case is severe and the patient is immunocompromised, macrolide should be prescribed. Even in children, macrolide must be prescribed if pertussis is suspected.